Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs. And today I'm going to show you how to enable PowerShell logging so that we can log all PowerShell events and send them all to our Security Onion intrusion detection system. Right now, as you can see, I actually do not have PowerShell logging. What I have here is Sysmon that's able to see when PowerShell is executed, but I don't know what commands were executed. So I can just search for PowerShell and see these events with event code, I think 11 or something like that. But what I want is the 4,000 value events from PowerShell that I can tell exactly what command was ran. And to enable that on Windows is very simple. You can just go to um, GP edit. If you want to run a local group policy, you can do this on the domain controller and apply the group policy to every machine on your uh, domain as well. In this case, I'm going to show you how to do it on the local group policy. So I want to go to local computer com configuration, uh, Windows components. It should be Windows PowerShell. As you can see here, my PowerShell settings are all off. What I want is um, make sure that I enable these. Log scripts, blocks, invocations. Okay. I think I like that. Apply and okay. Partial transcription, I want that too. So this enables me to generate a lot of logs. Make sure that you are aware of the noise that this can actually enable for you. But since I want PowerShell, I want all of them. All right. So now that I did that, the next thing I need to do is open my Wazoo agent. As you can see, I'm running a Wazoo agent here for endpoint monitoring. It's already running. I need to go to its configuration file in C program files OSEC agent OSEC.conf. You want to right click, edit this file. And in this file, what you want to add is this block here. It does not show up in here by default. So you want to make sure that you have a uh, local file and it says hey we want a microsoft powershell op operational and that should be it you just hit save exit and do a gp update quick so run gp update force this should force our um, group policy to update on our machine and once it finishes it should tell us hey group policy has been updated successfully so let's make sure that that happens. And also let's restart our OSEC agent if we have not done so. Manage, restart. Agent restarted. Perfect. So now after the group policy object applies, we should now see that we will be getting PowerShell events. So let's open PowerShell here. Right, group policy su successfully updated, PowerShell ISE. All right, while PowerShell is loading, let's search for the event code. Dot code. Uh, we want 4104, that's for execution. And let's refresh. So far, we don't have anything in the last 30 minutes, but let's run some um, commands here. See if our service is running. Get service sysmon. Everybody's happy. So I just asked PowerShell for a few things. So we can, as you can see, go here. It's PowerShell events. So here is um, the command that I just ran to get sysmon. So I know it's actually logging because it says source is PowerShell was logged all right all right so coming back to our security onion if we just look for this event called uh, 4107 we should see events for, for when i searched for sysmon and also when i searched for the wazoo agent so here are the powershell events coming through and as you can see now i have a log here we can expand that log to see what happened all right 
the message let's check the next one all right so powershell logging is actually working because here is get service name sysmon64 so we actually have powershell logging uh, going on here otherwise thanks for being here this was a setup video and i will see you next time